today's a good day. I have three bags of palettes to right after this video is done, I get to throw it away in my little trash bin. I am so excited. Now I'm doing this in stages. So this is the first pile is, um, I have not touched in ages. I am no longer, I'm just not inspired to touch it for whatever reason. And of course, very old, 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 older than two cans of black pepper palette. First stack, this is all Juvia's place, okay? I am split on this. Shocking, shocking, isn't it? Shocking to me. Because, first of all, I have not touched quite a bit of these in ages. So they should just go, go away, right? But on the other side of me, I, I, I'm still... I don't appreciate that the brand did not like that I gave a not favorable review on their um, Fumi collection and the glosses and stuff. It was my experience and, and me telling the truth, but you know, some brands are like, we don't want you to tell the truth. Or we did. So. I'm saying to myself, you know what? Why don't you just try it? You know, see, see if you like it. But I see a very strong possibility that they're going to go away. So today, just playing around my eyes, I have the Warrior 2 in Nubian 3 Coral Warrior by Juvia's Place. That's why you haven't seen me talk about them. I haven't tried anything. What brows and lips and blushes, all that. I'm over them. The Warrior 3 by Juvia's. Nobody tells me what to say on this channel. I will talk about my experience and tell the truth, what I feel, okay? And if you don't like it, bye. Uh, Masquerade Mini, is that what it says, Mini? Yeah, Mini. The Nomad. Or Nomad by Juvia's. The Zulu by Juvia's. That's how I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna be like. Psh, psh, psh. The Tribe by Juvia's. Most of these were given to me. The Nubian by Juvia's. And then I paid for a few. I can't recall because it's been forever. The Nubian too. Okay, so that's that's this week. This is just a no-name palette from the holidays. Target, you know, they have those three dollars. Put little stocking stuffers. The, everything is scratchy, whether it's the glitter, all that scratchy. This was sent to me from the brand, the Silhouette uh, Caramel Caramel Palette. Beautiful. I just. I haven't really, I haven't touched it. Silhouette, Silhouette Beauty. So it is a black owned female brand. These also came from Target. These are the holiday ones. Again, this is makeup. You know, when you're trying to give to a little kid, hey, you want to play on the floor? Here you go. Play around with all this little stuff. Stocking stuffers, you're on a budget. That's what this, this is. And it's Kaya, I believe it's the brand. So um, 15 color eyeshadow palette. I, th it was this. It was all this on the front. Sometimes you, just, you can just show me something that does all this and I'll just be like all day long. Oh, uh, I love stuff like that. So this is just glitter. They're just scratchy. Scratch like I feel like I can cut my, my, um, eyelid with it. Snow Babe. The mats are terrible. The mats are terrible. That I remember. Two Alter Ego palettes, Daydream. I believe they're no longer in business. This is supposed to be a copy to Huda's palette. The Goddess, this is supposed to be the copy to the green, whatever that green palette is by um, Natasha. Okay, this is the collab. I think this was sold at Sally's. It's never been opened. It's a warm tone palette. Look, I've already chewed myself out for stuff like this. Like, what do you mean you didn't open this? Lime Crime. 
You you can judge me kindly from behind the screen. I don't mind. I don't mind. I know. I know. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this. Perfusion. So perfusion, what I've learned is I'm not buying perfusion anymore. Okay. It's just they spoil too quick and I'm not using them this much. But here's another thing too. Makeup is getting so much better now. So I, I just want to be staying with the best, the best of the best. So the metallics, you're just gonna get a quick little flash, quick flash. Confidence, you're gonna recognize a lot of these because you probably have them in your collection. Wanderlust, they're priced good. But I am picky, okay? I'm picky. So I want my stuff to be the best of the best of the best. But when you need the budget, you know, you're on a budget, oh, don't worry. I can find you some really good stuff too, even if you're on a budget. But this just is not working out for me. This one I remember I bought, and I'm like, excuse me, look at those tones. Where's the pigment? No pigment. That's what also I have to be concerned with is, you know, when you have dark skin, you need this stuff to be showing up on you, okay? And I refuse now to be doing this whole going out of my way, trying to make stuff work. I don't have to do that much anymore. Those days are over because I have a lot of options now. I am not opening these two. This is uh, two holiday palettes, again, from Target, the Kaya brand. Glitter will get all these sequins will get all over the place. So that's why I have them in these bags But same thing little to no pigment just very soft as far as the color tone But just very very old, but these are good If again you want to give to a very young you know, little young girl boy here you go play like I said in the corner They don't care when they're that young. Edie Bakery is next uh, do it for the gram and the mattes in here are terrible. I noticed that the mattes, period, with Beauty Bakery, I just cannot get the pigment that I need to see out of it. The shimmers are fine. I mean, how can you mess up on a shimmer? Shimmers are gonna be fine. But then mattes, you need to have your pigment. And I'm sick and tired of getting Beauty Bakery and there's just barely any pigment with these mattes. Terrible. So I'm not buying any more. Beauty Bakery um, eyeshadow palettes. And quite frankly, very disappointed. You know, a black woman, you better, come on, don't even get me started. All of my uh, crayon case palettes, little to no pigment, very, very cool. Watch me blush makes no sense because it's like, it's a blush palette, it's an eyeshadow palette. I didn't like the pigment level from the beginning. So just, again, tired of making it try to work okay cute you know color stories and all that stuff but still um you know made in china people's republic of china i expect i expect expected a lot more out of that one and in the box of crayons this worked it felt like for a week and then afterwards it's where's the pigment sis where's the pigment so same routine you're gonna hear I'm not buying it anymore. No more crayon case for me. And then the matte book. I'm not buying it. The two physicians formula palettes, the butters. So we've got that. What what's the magic saying? Little to no pigment. And very, very old. Very old. Rimmel. Now I can't remember, I thought I had three of these. I can't remember which one I had an eye irritation. I wanna say it's the Spice palette. So because I had an eye irritation from it, I didn't wanna try the other one. And they're like plays off of, um, what is this? Urban Decay Heat and Subculture from ABH. So I don't buy Rimmel anymore. Balm is next, I have three here. I looked them up the other day to even see if they're still in business so they are it's just a brand i've never really been interested in so nude tude and i want to say i got these back when the they had um the makeup shows and all that stuff was going on and they were giving like a lot of stuff away to people who made videos nude dude 
because I can't remember if I bought one of these or not. Neat matte, neat matte, yeah, neat matte eyeshadow palette. Didn't even, didn't even use it. These were so good, but I mean, at Coastal Scents, you know, these are dirt old. The Revealed palettes, they were so good. Let's get those nice little rosy tones there. The Smoky. Revealed three. So these are going to take everybody back. See, I even hit pan on one. Go <gasps> back to early, early YouTube time. The old YouTube, that's what I miss when it was warm and comfortable. Now, uh, it's nothing but a show. Elf, Everyday Smoky. Gone. Pop Beauty. Again, dirt old, little to no pigment. The CoverGirl palettes. CoverGirl True Naked Roses. Issue with these, and I really don't know if CoverGirl still makes them that looks like this, the Golden Nudes. Even the ones that are supposed to be matte, they have a sheen to it, like a satin finish. They have some fine particles of glitter, the True Naked Sunsets. I want a matte. If it's going to be a matte, Make the damn eyeshadow matte, okay? Quit messing around with all this other stuff. And then the smoked, okay? That's why I ain't gonna touch it anymore. Maybelline's Soda Pop. Remember this one? It was fun at first, and then, well, actually a lot of Maybelline's old palettes were nothing, but the new ones are a lot better. And then the Lemonade Craze. And again, some of these have that... Again, the mattes are supposed to be mattes, or should be mattes, and they're not. The City Mini Palettes, I believe they still have these. This is Concrete Runway. Again, you're going to see mattes that should be mattes. This is the one with Shayla. Barely touched it. Um, Urban Jungle. Didn't I say jungle? This is a green one. The only Maybelline palette is that I feel is worth buying is that one, the nude. Yeah, the nude that has the rich and the mattes are actually mattes with not all this sheen and crap to it. NYX palettes. NYX is hit and miss. The swear by it, I do not swear by it. It worked at first and then the minute it stopped working, that's how I knew. Okay, it's wrong. Your pigment just evaporates the more you open up the palette. I don't know. So I really, I, I don't buy NYX eyeshadow. I don't think of NYX when I think of eyeshadow. The uh, the brights. It's not, not bright on me. You know the brands you go to when you're like, oh, I think of this when I think of that. I don't think of NYX for eyeshadow. I'm in the ultimate one. So this is just a small version of that. I can just see the dust coming up. Oh my goodness gracious. LA Girl is next. This is the only LA Girl palette I have. Now, this is, what's it called? It was a pro palette. Born exclusive is what it's called. I didn't really see a lot of people talk about this when I was searching. It says, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. So it was a really big palette, pro palette. And... Again, it worked at first, but this is how I'm gonna judge you too. If the mattes have little to no pigment and they're not blending right, I ain't even dealing with the shimmer. Okay, I'm a matte person because it pulls the look together. So I will judge you on the mat, on the mattes and it's just, it's not rich enough, including the black. I mean, how do you mess up on giving a, a good rich black? The shimmers are fine because shimmers usually always do, they're fine. They're fine, but in the trash it goes, and um, I don't buy LA Girl eyeshadows anymore. I know they're popular now and all that, but I pay them dust. This is the last from the second. The Missy Lynn uh, eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette from BH Cosmetics. Remember this? Remember Missy? That's old school YouTube. Royal Affair by BH Cosmetics. EH Cosmetics Desert Oasis, Ooh, one eyeshadow kind of broke in there. We'll skip that because I am not getting eyeshadow everywhere, but it's going in the trash. This was a good palette. 
that was good. I wish I used it a lot more, the eyeshadows and the, um, crap, I got the stuff over me. The eyeshadows and the highlighters worked really well too, but again, I just don't pick it up anymore. My Little Pony, My Little Pony, the pure. I love My Little Pony. Yes, I still watch My Little Pony. When, when, when I don't want to think, I put on cartoons and Applejack and all of that can crack me up. I love, I love little points. I didn't even use this one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Like I said, I already have a talk to myself. Well, we got all these palettes you didn't touch. The Frida palette from Ulta. I think I tried it a little bit. I left the little cover sleeve on it. And again, I went into the mattes and they just weren't rich enough. Nope, am I here for it? And this was actually a good one. The Ciate one, it's the only Ciate, I think this is the only Ciate London item I have, period. The one with Chloe Morello, pretty fun and fearless. And beautiful color story, just beautiful. And again, I wish I used it a lot more, but it is, it is really old. I'm staring. I'm staring at it because I'm like, I, I, I really like this color story, and I'm looking at kind of the pans I don't, I didn't even touch. I'm like, girl, no, no, shut it. It's old as can be. It's going in the trash. This one's heavy. This has a lot of Too Faced. Chocolate bonbon. Bye bye. This was fun. I like the um, cool tone aspect of it. It's uh, again little to no pigment. It worked at the beginning. This actually is something I won back again when I think it was like Generation Beauty Ipsy was going around, and then at the Too Faced booth, I um I won that. So I would still have kept it if it worked. Here's the thing with Too Faced. Okay all of this that's going in the trash. I need to see more mat. I, I need to see more mats. I think I wanted, well, no, I know. It's not that I wanted to do more of a cohesive eye in one palette. There's just so many damn shimmers. Okay, I'm sick of it. Uh, to me, I mean, if you like shimmers, you probably say the same thing. I'm sick of mattes. You know, you've seen one matte, you've seen them all. I've seen every damn shimmer there is known to man. Okay. So I want to see a lot more of a cohesive look in the palettes. So that is what I'm looking for, I guess, during all of this little tiny 10 pay, those are the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the little nine, uh, ten, and then these on the side, to me, were a waste, because these could have been the colors, like crease shades or whatnot, and it's just more so going with, okay, we're going to give you one matte, and we're going to give you that nice little bone shade here. This little, here we go, put it right behind the ear. This little bone shade here. No. No, no, no. So, what is this? Bon, bonjour. Bonjour, summer. So, it's just nothing but, you know, you want a shimmer eye, then that's what these little nine pans were all about. Sugar pop, again, with the color. Look, I still have a lot of these little things in here. A little to no pigment, especially for the mattes. The too cute. The smoky eye. This one I do remember. I did like this one. I think I used it a few times. And oh look, I was putting the dates on the back too. 2010, 2018, 2015, bonjour 2014. Did I write, no I didn't write it on the back of the box. That's another thing too. When I get the dates on here, it, uh, to me, I'm just like, bye, bye, bye. That too will get me to say, you're gone. You're, you're out of here. Cat Eyes. This was fun. Cat Eyes was fun. 2016. 
I may save the little pamphlet for this one, just for the fun, the fun palettes, you know, to recreate looks. Natural Eyes, uh, did I write down the day? I know this one is just really dirt old. Um, they even have a new design. But again, see the colors? Like, <sighs> nudie, sex pressure, except what sex espresso whatever it is um just not rich enough for my skin tone but pale skin fair skin this is perfect especially if you don't want to be dealing with a lot of mattes because you can just go right up here and then you've got all those little these little notes natural at night was supposed to be a little bit richer still didn't do anything this one I think this one has a lot of shimmers in it. Did I even write a date on here? No, I didn't. This one has a lot of shimmer in it. Oh look, I still have the eyeliner stuck in there. <laughs> it came with um, the Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner. I am not touching that because you know that's a hold. This is barely touched. Barely touch. The Romantic Eye 2015. Old, 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 old. It's pretty colors though. A la Mode Eyes 2014. And then we have Urban Decay's Troublemaker 2017. Old and barely used. Really used. Two tart ones. These I've already played around with. They're just there's no pigment by now. Rainforest of the Sea, Volume Two, and Volume Three. So there's also just some brands I know. Lorac is one that if you don't use their powders, you don't use their eyeshadows enough, they will go bad fast. And I think Tarte is one of them too. Just you know, you learn. Trial by error. This is another um, Urban Decay Naked Cherry, the highlight and blush palette. It's just, I didn't even really touch it. It's kind of an ugly color story. I have three ABH ones. This is the Artist palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think, is another one too, where I can tell. Um, it's palette's getting old because the pigment. Oh, this is the. World Traveler palette, which I used a lot, so much where I actually took out some of the pans that were my favorite to put like in a small thing. I don't know what I did with that little small container, but um, I mean, I did use this one. Didn't use it up though. And then this, oh, this is super old. The Tam, what is this? Tam, Tamanana Dress, Dress Your Face palette. Why does she sound familiar? But I don't know. Her face, her face is in my, my head. I can see her face. <laughs> I can see her face. I don't remember if she's a makeup artist or a um, um, YouTuber. But again, old school. Old school YouTube. All right. ColourPop. And another brand. Senna and Stella. Okay. I feel like I need to sneeze. All this dust popping up. This is the Femme Rosa, Carucci, and the ColourPop Her Palette. This one just didn't really show up on me, and that's a shame because it was cute colors. Uh-huh, honey. Barely touched it because just barely didn't have much pigment for me. And then the Rose, uh, the She Palette. I just didn't get into it. Just didn't. Old. Very old. They worked back in the day, the um, 70s and the 80s, and these were really fun palettes. This is like, what, before the channel even started? What, 2014 around that time? <sighs> so fun, but there's just no pigment right now. So you have just the, the nude, and then you have the brights, of course, for the 80s. This one, 2013. I wish I got the garden party one, the actual shimmer that went with it. See how I know the garden? Garden. See, once it just comes right out of my head, you know it is good. This is the Stella in the note. All mattes. And it, the pigment was there. The pigment was there. 
so good. I mean, I didn't hit pan or anything, but I see there's some wear and tear in here. 2013, obviously very, very old. The garden palette that matches this, which is just all shimmers. I should have, I should have got that one. That was like one of my, one of my makeup regrets. Three Smashbox. This is the full exposure. Remember this little tiny one? I remember this one too. The full exposure, 2014. Great little travel size with the thinness of like a credit card. This worked great when it worked. Just old. This one I remember getting at a B show 2016 from the Smashbox booth, and I never really tried it. Again, when I think of Smashbox, I don't think of their eyeshadows. I don't. I think of their, their photo wall. I think of their brushes. You know, they, they got some top things, but eyeshadow is not, I feel, their strongest suit. And then the On the Rocks palette. I don't have a date on that. And just a little bit of use on it, but... Nope. Pixies next. This is a clean, you know, Pixies, the clean brand. Again, I don't think of Pixie and I think of eyeshadow. Um, Pixie, I think of skincare. Eyeshadow is just very, very little pigment, very soft, you know, natural. The, the basic, the basic, the basic. I need some, I need some punches, some pigment. These are the... What is this? Eye effects. So hazelnut haze, rosette ray, and then the honey nectar. Okay. Oops. Another brand where the mattes are not true mattes. They're satins and just just messed it up by that nonsense. But again, I don't I don't think this is actually a face palette. Um, eyeshadow is their, their strongest suit. And then same with these two palettes here. Not for my skin tones, of course. Reflects light. I think this is back when Pixie used to send me stuff. They don't send me stuff anymore. This is the, um, and it doesn't matter. I, you know, I buy what I want from them. Um, one matte, or one that is supposed to be a matte, and then all shimmers. And then this is the cool tone one. Really like the color story, Natural Beauty. Wished that the colors went as deep as they do because it's this cool, cool tone. You know, and it's hard to find cool tone palettes that have the depth and a nice color story. And then it's like, damn, you really don't have what I'm looking for. And then Marc Jacobs, I, I don't care for these little tiny little whatever these are. What are, what are they called? Style Icon Palettes, you know, the one that in this little design here, 2015. This is the Siren, so this is all the brights. It just don't work for me. And the, Mark's pigment for his eyeshadow, for some reason, they just don't last. I don't know what's the problem. Again, you need to use your stuff. Hello? I need to use it. Uh, 2015, this is the Dreamer. Now, we got, we have... We all just, we have so much. We need to clean, we need to clean this, this nonsense out, get it out of here, and keep what is the best of the best. And then this is called the Mod. I don't have a date on it, but I'm sure it's probably around the same time frame. That is it. I am so happy now to put this all in the trash. And once it's gone, I'm going to think about it. Let me know. If you want to see the other bags, because I've got, I got one, I got perfume, setting sprays, primer, all foundational. I've got every category, the bags, I've got them. So let me know if you even care to see them. This is all old. So it's like, why are you getting rid of it? It's all old. That's why. There's really no whatever. I may say, oh, I'll repurchase this or this, very little of that. It's all old and all has to go. So if you don't really want to see that, let me know. I'll just throw away the bags. But otherwise, um... I'm, I'm going to be so happy to get rid of these. <laughs> all right, thanks everyone for stopping by and watching, going through all of this with me. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye.